Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use deal sheets when sourcing your Amazon FBA products. So welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a method of sourcing Amazon FBA products, which is using deal sheets or a deal finding platform. So before we do jump into the video, let's just briefly explain what Amazon FBA is. Hopefully everybody does know already, but just in case you don't, Amazon FBA stands for fulfillment by Amazon. And this basically means you buy products from retailers or wholesalers or your own products and you send them into Amazon's warehouse and you sell them on Amazon. As mentioned, Amazon will store them, they'll sell them, they will send them out to your customer and they will deal with all the customer service. So it really is a great business method because if you are a small seller, it means you don't need a big warehouse, you don't need loads of staff. Your only actual job is just finding the products and sending it into Amazon. They do take care of the rest. Now, obviously, if you are doing Amazon FBA, you have to be able to find products. So where on earth do you find products? What do you look for? How do you do it? So realistically, you have two ways of sourcing products. You have manual sourcing, or you use a deal sheets or a sourcing service. So manual sourcing, this is basically where you're going to a website, you're going to a retailer, a wholesaler, and you'll go through their products and you'll try and find a good FBA deal. So you'll be looking for a low price on the source website and a high price on Amazon. And then obviously you do have to analyze it, but there is a lot more to it than just being a low price where you're buying it from and selling for more on Amazon. But that is your first thing you're looking for. Now, using deal sheets or a deal finding platform, this is basically where you are assisted in doing this. So it might be providing you with deals. It might be providing everything for you in central portal. So you haven't got to trawl through lots of different websites. Now, Amazon FBA sourcing is really difficult. It is a skill. It does take time to learn. And that is probably the hardest part about Amazon FBA is finding the product. You, you often need a constant stream of Amazon products coming in for you to send into Amazon's warehouse and often they can be difficult to find. And this is probably the thing which puts most people off Amazon FBA and what makes most people quit as well. That initial stage when you do first get involved with Amazon FBA, it can take a bit of time to find your first deal. You know, a lot of the products you might find, they may look great on the surface, but they might be gated. They might be an intellectual property risk. You might check the price history graphs and they're no good. There are so many potential variables which may make something not a good deal. And often you have to spend so so much time finding deals. And this is why using a deal sheet or a deal finding platform can be a great option when trying to find FBA products. So what actually is a deal sheet? It is a sheet or it's a web sheet. Now these can come in many formats and there's lots of companies who do provide these. Some will provide you just a couple of deals a day. Some will provide you loads. And these can be a great option to use because it basically means you haven't got to do the hard work of trawling through lots of different websites. Now here at Profitable, we like to do things a little differently and try and improve and up the game of what is available for deal sheets. And this is why we have our deal finder platform. But what our deal finder is, is basically lots and lots of FBA deals in one central portal, all for you to go through, analyze them and find the deals you do want to buy. Now we always explain our deal finder as not a checked deal service. That's where we try and be a bit different. And as we go through this video, I'll be giving you a live run through and I'll actually be sourcing some deals live. We call our deal finder potential deals only. And what this basically means is we get lots and lots of deals on there. So there is lots for everybody to find. We scrape almost all the largest retailers online looking for a low price on a source website and high price on Amazon. And then we put these into a central portal. So that all that you have to do is go through find the ones you look for, you can avoid the websites you don't want. So you're not just given 10 deals a week, for example, usually there'll be well over a thousand potential deals on one update. So using something like this really can be a great method for getting started with Amazon FBA. It can give you inspiration on where to look, what to look for, and so on. But now we're gonna get into the fun part where we're actually gonna be trying to find some deals today using our deal finder. But just before we do that, I just did wanna let anyone here who's not a member of Profitable yet, who hasn't started Amazon FBA, about an exclusive YouTube discount code, which I'll just make pop up here. So make sure to take that down. You can save 5% on yearly plans or 20% on monthly plans, but let's jump into the sourcing. Okay, so here I am on my Profitable account and we are on the Deal Finder page. This is your portal where you can find all your FBA deals. So you can see from here, Deal Finder is updated twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. So we always recommend to try and jump on it as soon as we do the updates, just obviously as time goes on, products can start to sell out, prices can start to change 
and so on. But let's jump into it and actually show you what I would be doing if I was trying to find some FBA deals. So firstly, we can see we've got 1,300 potential products um, on this update today. As you do Amazon FBA, you'll begin to learn the types of products you like, which will sell well, the websites which work well, the categories which sell well, and so on. So this is obviously something which does take a bit of time. I mean, usually the first thing we do is we'd head over to the categories and head over to a category. So the first product we've got is a Zesty Paws 90 Soft Chew. So we can buy it for 3183 um, and it's selling on Amazon for £48.99. So there's a couple of things we'd be doing first. We'd firstly just be making sure it's definitely the same uh, product and making sure it's still in stock. So uh, we'll just open it up just in here. So that's great. We can still buy it for £31.83 and it's still selling on Amazon for £49. It's actually gone up to like the £49.99. Now we'll just be doing a few checks just to make sure it's definitely the same product. So we'll just be checking the titles. It's 90 soft shoes, making sure the photos match up. But it's definitely the same product. So that's really important because obviously you don't order the product and actually find out it's different, it's a different size and so on. So it's really important to do as many checks as possible before you do invest in a deal. So just on the surface, this looks like a great deal. Now, in this video today, I'm not gonna go into actual analyzing deals, what we do look for, just because this is more about just how we find the deals. If you were interested in how we actually analyze a deal, I'll just link a video up here. I'll just link a video up here. We've done loads of videos on actually what to be looking for and so on. So make sure to check that out. Okay, so here we are again on the pets page. I've just been going through some of these and I've come across this one here. Okay, so it says Scooby-Doo dog toy which we could buy for four pounds and it sells on amazon for 11 pound 26. now you might be a bit alarmed for the lack of sales it's only selling between five to thirty a month but that isn't a problem whatsoever you don't need products which are selling a huge amount as long as it's got some sales and there's not too much competition so again what we do is we just check the two products so we'll load them up just here just to make sure they're the same so this one's actually from b and what this means is we'd actually have to go in and buy this product in store. But quite often the nice things about these ones is that you have less competition because obviously obviously it's more work involved. You actually have to go in and buy the product. But it's four pound, it's selling on Amazon for nine pound 93, which is absolutely great. I'll just check the number of sellers on this um, product quickly, just to make sure there's not too much competition. So yeah, look, we can see there's only two, two FBA sellers. Um, and look, one of them's only got four in stock, the other, one's only got, the other one's got zero in stock. So that's absolutely perfect. This looks like another great buy. Now another category I always like is the home category. So we'll just head up here now to the home and kitchen category. Okay, so on here I've come across this Xbox lunch bag. So it's costing us six pounds. It's currently selling them for £12.99. So let's load up both products and just make sure it's definitely the same product. So it has actually dropped slightly on Amazon. So it was £12.99, but it's now dropped down to £11.99. But that's not a problem. There's still a nice difference in that it's over double the price that would make it good for an Amazon FBA deal and then probably the last one which I always really like is toys and games so we'll just load up toys and games just now and we'll have a look to see what we can find now just one quick note while you are sourcing on toys and games you'll often find a lot of products from Argos and across the other categories as well but most often on toys and games and if you are a UK customer and you're looking at Argos Argos can be a bit of hit, hit or miss when sourcing products and we'll have a look at this one for example and the issue with Argos is they have loads and loads of really good products, which they say they are in stock. You can add them to your trolley. But the issue is when you go through checkout, they're not actually available for click and collect and are not available for delivery. So just bear that in mind if you are sourcing from Argos. So a lot of people do um, try and avoid sourcing from there. So just been doing some quick sourcing and while I've been doing this, I've come across this one here. So it's a unicorn water game. So we can buy it for £1.50 and we'll load it up on the website so we can buy it on the works. It's currently selling on Amazon for £7.99. So a really, really good difference um, just there. Now if we load the profit extension, we can see that actually this is quite an incredible product. It's making £2.97 profit per unit. It's 190% ROI, which is just crazy. And there's only three FBA sellers, so not much competition at all. So I spent just 15 minutes there trying to find FBA deals using our deal sheets or our deal finder. Found four potentially good FBA deals. And I didn't get into the analysis too much. First thing you're looking for is just making sure it's a low price on your source website and a high price on Amazon. As long as you've got that, then you can go into the more detail about whether it is worth going for. But using deal sheets or a deal finder platform is really a great method for getting involved with Amazon FBA. It can save you a lot of headaches. I know a lot of people try and go it alone, but it isn't always the best option. Please don't think it is easy. And obviously my sourcing today of 15 minutes, I have been doing this a long time, so I am gonna find it a lot easier 
than you. But with time, anyone can do this and become successful with Amazon FBA. So we hope you found that video interesting. Make sure to let us know in the comments any more videos you'd like us to do, or any other topics you'd like us to cover. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe and make sure to like this video. It really does help. But thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.